Hi everyone. So uh, when you are working with Sumo, uh, sometimes you will uh, need to take uh, simulation outputs uh, to evaluate certain, uh, you know, KPIs like speed of a particular corridor uh, and all. So usually a corridor is consist with uh, multiple edges. So um, so in my case, I have to aggregate data over two. I mean, I have to take the average speed of uh, two corridors in this network. So the a corridor is essentially uh, uh, it consists of large number of edges. So like you see, if you zoom in here, you can see like large number of edges are there. So so my uh, first corridor that I want there there are two corridors I need to aggregate data. So the first is part is going from uh, from here to all the way up to here, and then. Uh, And then uh, I need to uh, aggregate data. I mean, uh, I have another corridor in my uh, uh, network where I have to uh, get an uh, aggregated average speed uh, for starting from basically, uh, yeah, basically go from, from here all the way up to somewhere here right so from this entire part i have to uh, um, sort of get uh, the uh, average speeds of that corridor so uh, usually uh, the, the the simulation output type that you can use for this is these uh, edge or lane based uh, traffic measures measures um now in my case, if you normally uh, define uh, the minimum required, the number of uh, arguments are these. So first you get a measurement ID, then you give the output file. So then it will aggregate all the, uh, across all the uh, simulation time period, your data. So if you want to uh, add uh, like different uh, begin times, end times, you can set it up here. And then uh, if you want to uh, sort of get an aggregate measure for a given set of uh, let's say a stretch of roads so which has multiple edges what you have to do is you can define uh, you can restrict the output okay, based on a certain number of edges that you want to give and then after that you can aggregate uh, values accordingly so uh, so you set this to true uh, and then uh, you can uh, run the simulation so what I did here was I created two additional files. Uh, the first additional file uh, will gather uh, for all the vehicle types. Therefore, I have a define a vehicle type here. And you can see uh, collect, collect aggregate data for every 300 second uh, for three hours. And these are my uh, set of uh, edges. So similarly, I have defined it to uh, multiple uh, for the both uh, corridors. And if you are planning to uh, collect data for a separate types of vehicles, if you are interested in, you can have the same setup, uh, but uh, one uh, minor change that you need to do is you had, can define the vehicle types here. So here I'm collecting data for uh, two types of buses uh, together. And then uh, once you create these two additional files, uh, in, my, in my case, these two additional files, I have linked it to the uh, Sumo configuration file you can uh, set it up uh, here so you can have this um, you can point these uh, file paths according and then finally the simulation is run uh, you get an output like this so you have this uh, aggregated values will be present so uh, i hope this video is useful so uh, if you uh, if you have suggestions, you know, uh, any other ways that you are using with Sumo uh, to uh, calculate uh, different aggregate measures. Uh, so please let me know in the comment section. So thank you very much.